Okay, so my steps for dealing with failure. So, number one, I don't because I'm perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, but seriously, um, I welcome failure because failure lets me know that I'm learning what doesn't work and how I can improve and that's what online marketing is all about is seeing what didn't work uh, changing it you know doing split testing comparing um, you know one outcome to another to see what does better and just learning from failure um, and when I was writing my uh, thesis uh, from a master's degree in education I was doing gamification in education and one of the cool things about games, video games especially, is that um, there really isn't a whole lot of tutorial stuff going on. Um, and if there is, it's very uh, minimal whenever you're you know, learning how to navigate any kind of open world sandbox video game. Um, you actually just learn by dying over and over again. You just try over and over again, you have unlimited lives maybe. Um, if not, then you start back at the beginning. But it's just trial and error over and over again. Like, that's you know that's what people do when they play video games is that they don't bother to do the tutorials or look at the instruction manual. Nobody does that anymore. They just play, and they find out what works, and they find out what doesn't, and they stop doing what doesn't. And so I think that's a really great way to approach life is just to try everything and if it doesn't work, then tweak it and optimize it. Um, not saying that, you know, you have to fail at everything to learn everything. You can learn from other people's failures. But the whole point of failure is to learn. And, um, you know, it's the same thing with my Airbnb business. Um, you know, I have a lot of good ratings on there, but sometimes I'll get constructive feedback from guests that have stayed in my place. And, um, you know, it's not really a failure, but it's definitely ways that I can avoid failure in the future for future guests and then, you know, just optimize the apartment, the listing. So, um, look forward to failure is, is what I would say. If you're not failing, then you're either perfect, which is unlikely, or you're not doing anything. So, if you're not failing daily, you're failing in the sense that you're not doing anything. So look forward to failure. That's my take on it. All right. Pura vida.